Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today on tuberculosis of breast. So this tuberculosis of breast, it can occur most commonly in multi-parous women. In multi-parous women, this tuberculosis of breast is common or else it is relatively rare. It is associated with uh, pulmonary tuberculosis. Don't forget that it is associated most commonly with active pulmonary tuberculosis. Now what does the patient with this presence with now so here a person with tuberculosis of breast he has uh, he presents with a swelling in the breast and this swelling is not red he doesn't have any uh, symptoms or signs of inflammation here it is a cold abscess the person presents with cold abscess and there can be even sinuses okay the patient presents with number one cold abscess and also sinuses okay now uh, if you see the skin of this breast it is not reddish but it is mostly bluish skin okay bluish as appearance of skin is seen uh, then the one more important feature of TB uh, breast is the presence of lymph nodes there can be matted lymph nodes in the axilla. Lymph nodes in the axilla may become matted. Okay, so these are the different uh, features of tuberculosis of breast. And sometimes you can even see presence of multiple abscess. One abscess can be there or sometimes in the breast there can be multiple and many many abscesses may be seen. So for example, if this is the abscess, so you'll see many many abscesses in the skin and these multiple abscesses will sometimes may discharge out leading to formation of sinuses so this is what we see in tuberculosis of breast the woman complains of having lump or swelling in the breast and then when you do fnsa you can find the tuberculous bacilli uh, while doing afp staining or you can even this can sometimes may resemble carcinoma so as a result you'll have to do a frozen section biopsy to differentiate it from carcinoma and excisional biopsy should be done so what is the treatment the treatment because it is tuberculosis you'll have to give anti-tubercular drugs ATT anti-tubercular therapy should be necessary we should do that and then we will have to drain this cold abscess which is there this should be drained that is one and then healing is usual but the thing is the healing is delayed so that is the main thing main important points of tuberculosis of breast so thank you guys for watching my lecture in the next class we will learn about mendor's disease thank you